welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to be collaborating with Rimmel London on their Trend Drop series and today I am doing an overblush look as you can see. I have created a wearable version as well as this super edgy version that's amazing for festivals so don't worry whether you're a more pared back girl or a super edgy girl there's something for you. Basically we're just amping up everything more blush, more eyeshadow, and making everything seamlessly blend in together. It is just such a stunning look for festivals, photo shoots, or even Halloween. To start the look, I'm going in with the Magnifies Crimson Edition palette, and I'm taking this soft pink shade in through the crease and blending out towards the end of my brow, just gradually building up until it's as diffused as I want it to be. Always going back in with a fluffy blending brush to make sure the edges are really soft. Now I'm taking this light shimmery shade and some of the Insta Fix and Go setting spray and I'm applying that to the inner half of my eye and to my inner corners to brighten up and create some dimension. Then I'm going back into that first shade and I'm applying that to the second half of my eyelid and also deepening up the crease. I just want this to look very soft and blown out. Now I'm taking this slightly darker shade and running that into the outer corner and through the crease just to add even further dimension, but you can see it's still very blown out and soft. Also dragging that under the eye Now I'm taking the Magnifies Double Ended Shadow and Liner, I'm taking the liner side and I'm applying that across my lash line and then smudging it in with a brush to create, again, a very blown out soft look. Then of course adding a coat of mascara to make the lashes look really nice and long. And for the final touch I'm using the Scandalize Brow and Liner Kajal along my waterline to brighten up the eye and I'm also going to take that underneath the eye. I'm dragging it along the lash line on the inner corner as a highlight and also winging it out on the edge of the eye. I think this just looks really pretty and edgy but still daytime appropriate. For blush I'm using the Maxi Blush in the shade Third Base and I'm applying this all across the front of the cheeks, the backs of the cheeks and up towards the temple. Draping it across the cheekbone and the temple gives you a really rosy youthful look. Now I'm taking the Kate Sculpting Palette and I'm going into the contour shade and just applying that underneath my cheekbones and on the backs of my cheeks and my temples for some definition. Also along the jawline and down the sides of the nose for some further sculpting. And then taking the Kate Highlighting Palette, mixing these two shades together and highlighting my face, tops of my cheekbones, tops of my eyebrows, my nose and my cupid's bow. And finally lips, we're using the Stay Satin Liquid Lip in the shade Psych. I'm just applying that all over the lip and then I'm applying a slightly darker shade just to the outer corners of my lips to create dimension and a slightly more ombre effect. And just blending that in with my finger to create a really nice soft look. And then a final really pretty touch is to add some cream highlight across the shoulders and the collarbones and this just makes you look really luminous and glowing. So that is my wearable daytime overblush look. And now we'll move on to amping that up into a more edgy look. So I'm going in with the Maxi Blush in the shade Wild Card and I'm starting to build up that blush across the tops of the cheekbones, on the backs of the cheeks and the temples. Kind of like where you would apply bronzer, but this time it's blush. Also taking it up onto the brow bone. I'm going back into that cream highlight and I'm going to use that on a beauty blender on the tops of my cheeks over the blush. I'm applying it with one end of the beauty blender and then blending it out with the other end to create a really soft, diffused look. 
and then I'm going back in with my blusher brush and blending over the top with whatever was left of my brush and this just makes it look really soft and diffused. Back to the eyes, I'm taking this shade and I'm starting to deepen up that eye look. I'm using a more defined blending brush to pull that through the crease back and forth, blending it out and smoking it out as much as possible. And I'm also creating kind of a V shape on the end of the eye on the outer corner, taking that out towards the temples. I always go back in with a fluffy blending brush to buff out the edges. And I'm also just applying that same shade all across the lid to deepen it up and make it look really soft. I also like to take that under the eye just to create continuity around the eye and then finally back in with a clean blending brush to blend everything out. And finally I'm going in with that darker shade just to deepen up the look and make it even more smoky and blown out. You can see this is all about the blend and taking your time. Once you have your eyeshadow blending done, you can go back in with some more blusher if you think it needs to be evened out. You kind of want the eyeshadow and the blusher to merge in together. Going back into the Scandalized Brow and Liner Kajal, I'm taking that along the waterline again, and I'm also building up my inner corner highlight with it, and I'm going to go over top with a powder. This liner is a great base for powder products, so I'm going to take this really nice pink highlight from the Kate Highlighting Palette and pop that over the top, and you can see it just really helps it to shine and shimmer in that inner corner. And also taking it along the brow bone. Now I'm just going back into the Kate Sculpting Palette and further defining my cheekbones and jawline and nose. And then we're going into the lips. I'm using the shade Obsession in the Stay Satin Liquid Lip all across my lip. This is a really gorgeous, vibrant shade. And then just so it really suits the soft, diffused look of the cheeks and eyes, I'm going to add a slightly lighter shade to the center and blend that in with my finger. This helps the lips to look really full as well. And finally, a quick coat of mascara just to dramatize the lashes. And that's it, my amped up version of my overblushed look and my wearable version. I really hope you liked this video. I was so excited to collaborate with Rimmel on this one for their Trend Drop series. If you wanna see more from Rimmel's Trend Drop series, just check out the playlist on the Rimmel London Australia YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share a comment if you enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you again really soon.